Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm a self-employed mama of four. My husband and I recently became debt free and are now working towards saving up six months worth of expenses for a fully funded emergency fund. We use a zero based budget and the cash stuffing method to stay on track because our biggest goal is to invest wisely and give generously. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. Well, hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited to be hanging out with you. In this video, I'm going to be explaining my cash envelopes and updating some things with my cash stuffing system. And I don't know, I just, I woke up this morning in a mood and ready for just a little bit of change. So I changed my, I don't know if you wanna call this like a backdrop, but I decided I just wanted to change some things up a bit. I get bored when things stay the same too long. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. But before we jump into that, I have a really fun unboxing to do and this one is really special. So you all know she said yes very well because I've partnered with them many times in the past, but they asked if I would like to pick out another piece of jewelry and well, I would have loved to pick out the piece of jewelry. I actually decided that I wanted Stephanie to pick out this piece of jewelry because she's been such a huge help in the shop. I just, I love working with her. I do pay her by the way, this is not like a volunteer thing, she is employed. <laughs> um, but either way, I absolutely love working with her. She is one of the hardest working people I know and also she's my sister. So I just wanted to spoil her a bit. So she's not here right now because I'm filming at home, but I wanted to unbox this and then when she comes back in to work tomorrow, I'm going to gift this to her. But I absolutely love the piece that she picked out and I'm so excited to just show it off because she said yes is just such an amazing brand and an amazing company and I'm actually wearing, this is my favorite ring that I've gotten from them and yeah, so you'll I love the ring Steph picked out and you'll see why. So First of all, their packaging is just absolutely beautiful as always. And I'm just gonna move this stuff around just a little bit. And so they always send a card that has how to care for your jewelry. And I love it. Jewelry tips, which is super nice. And then you can write a thank you card. So I might write a little something to Stephanie on this card. And then they always send this gift bag, which I'm excited to use because I'm gonna put this in the gift bag. So I'll probably leave this out so that once I package this ring back up, we can put it in this bag and I'll show you what that's gonna look like too. Oh, I should give it to her today because today is technically Valentine's Day. So, and then they give you this beautiful ribbon. So maybe I'll incorporate the ribbon into it as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what she picked out. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So one thing too, and I'm going to make sure I let Steph know this, but all the jewelry comes with a tag. And as long as you leave the tag attached, you can exchange or return the jewelry. But once you take the tag off, you're not able to exchange it or return it. So look at how pretty this is. So she picked a black stone. So it's very similar to my ring. You see that detailing on the side too. It's absolutely beautiful. I know she's going to love it. Thank you so much, she said yes, for this beautiful ring. I honestly wanna keep it because this would fit one of my fingers, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it to my sister because she's technically the one that picked it out. And I think everyone deserves a piece of she said yes jewelry. I really, really do. So I am just gonna package this up for her. I'll show you guys what that will look like in case you're ever looking to gift a piece of jewelry from she said yes. I do have a promo code in the description in case you wanna check that out. I might, I know I could, let's tie this on the box. And then I will also link like their website as well as any of the pieces that I have reviewed in the past. I think, I think they gave me a link for that. I'll double check, but either way, I'll link this ring as well as their website so you can go look and then feel free to use my promo code so that you can get a discount. You'd think working at a floral shop for eight years, I would be better at bows, but that's as good as it's going to get. And then, <laughs> I think that looks really cute though. And then we'll just put it in this bag there. And now Stephanie can have a beautiful piece of jewelry from She Said Yes to Wear, and maybe she'll even be willing to put her hands in some of our videos because she's always self-conscious of her hands because she doesn't get her nails done. So maybe I'll treat her to getting her nails done and then she can have this ring and 
she can be in more videos. <laughs> but thank you again so much. She said, yes, what a beautiful ring, a beautiful piece of jewelry. I absolutely love collabing with you and I look forward to more in the future. So you guys definitely check out. She said, yes, they have pieces of jewelry at any price point and even better because you can use my promo code as well. So thank you. Thank you. She said, yes. All right, so let's hop into the video. Like I mentioned before, I woke up in the mood for a bit of a change and just to kind of like freshen up my cash stuffing setup. As you guys know, I am beyond obsessed with cash stuffing and budgeting. I absolutely love it. I love what it's done for our family and just for our mindset and our relationship with money. And so I like to change things up a bit just to keep it interesting and to keep myself excited because even I as obsessed as I am, can sometimes start to feel a little blah about it. So, but when I love my setup, it makes me excited to cash stuff. So the first thing that we are going to do is switch out my wallet. So I'm in the mood to switch from the nude wallet to the black wallet. And I get a ton of questions all the time when these will be coming back in stock. And unfortunately it's going to be a while. So I thought they were coming in this most recent shipment that I got but it turns out that it was a separate, completely separate order that I had placed and those are still in production. So I do have some good news though. Okay, silver lining. We're gonna look at the silver lining. And that is that the fly leaves did come in though. So I did get all of the fly leaves in. I have them in black, nude, and the lavender fog. I don't have lavender fog here with me at home, but I did grab the black one because we are switching to the black wallet. So let's go ahead and start switching over my envelopes. We'll get this fly leaf put in here. So I do have a bunch of fly leaves. It's hard to gauge whether or not it's gonna be enough because I never know how many people want a fly leaf. So I do have, so these are in, I do have even more coming. So my goal is to like not be out of stock of the fly leaves like ever again. So I am ordering a ton and I do actually have so my first batch of wallets, I did not know how well they were going to sell. And so I ordered a lot, but it obviously wasn't enough. I still have a seven in stock, but the A6 are sold out right now. So because I know now how well they sell, I ordered three times as many in this like order. So when I placed the order a while ago, I ordered three times as many. So it's a huge order. It's not surprising to me that it's taking them a while to make them so they are coming though i don't have a date so when people ask me when they're restocking i don't know um but just rest assured it shouldn't be a crazy like sell out in five minute type situation with as many wallets as i ordered so and in that same order are more fly leaves so let's get my envelopes put in here i'm also going to be explaining my envelopes in this video because i've had a lot of people ask me about that so miscellaneous is my envelope for anything we forget to budget for i normally don't put much in there but it does come in handy kindness is for any random acts of kindness that i may want to do during the week nails this is literally just where i put the money that i'm taking with me to the nail salon kids this is their yes envelope so if we're out and about and they ask me for like a treat or something if i say yes this is where we would pull that from drinks this is for adult beverages specifically if i need to stop and grab something um lately we've been really into moscow mules so we don't drink all the time but every once in a while we might mix up like a drink after the kids go to bed and play cards or something eating out pretty self-explanatory emily is my personal spending cash and then groceries this is for any miscellaneous odds and ends we may need to grab during the week so for example last night I had to stop and grab two items from the grocery store and I just used this cash out of here. So you can see I've got, I think I started with 15, I've got $7 left in here. So normally we order our groceries online and put my receipt back here. I'm doing my cash stuffing next, so this way we'll be all ready to go. Um, I do all my grocery shopping online, mostly at Sam's Club, but I do some at some other grocery stores too where I'll just order online and then go pick it up. It helps me stay in budget and it saves me a ton of time. So it's very rare that I will go into the, into the grocery store and like buy a bunch of groceries just because I normally don't make time for that. But if I do that, I will just use my debit card because it's money that we leave in our bank account for grocery shopping. So I'm gonna get my cards and stuff switched over. So give me one second. 
All right, and there we go. So I will set my nude wallet aside and keep it where I keep the few extra purses that I have. And then when I feel like switching it out again, I will just grab my nude one. I'm more of like a nude or black type of gal. Super excited to be switching it up. I love black and I love the gold detailing with it. So yay. All right, so next I'm gonna kind of go through my sinking funds and just explain my envelopes. And I just heard Chris pull in the driveway. Um, he actually ran to the bank for me this morning. So he'll be coming in with our cash because I'm gonna film cash stuffing next. But let's, for the sake of time, keep moving. You'll hear him come in the door though. So this is my high priority sinking funds binder. I'm just gonna kind of breeze through these and show you the different categories that I have for high priority. And what our high priority sinking funds are, are things that are more like responsibilities or things that we kind of have to pay for as adults, as parents, as homeowners, et cetera. So groceries, again, this is just odds and ends. I do have some duplicate envelopes because my husband and I share these sinking funds. And so he may need to pull out of here. So I like to keep some of the money in here as well, but it's also convenient for me to carry it with me in my wallet. So I usually stuff my wallet and then make sure there's about a hundred bucks in here in case Chris needs to use this money. Clothing, this is for adult clothing. We have a separate envelope for our kids' clothing. Beauty, this is for anything we need to take care of ourselves. So I just took Liam in to get a haircut, so we used money out of here. If we need any type of things for the shower or toothbrushes or anything like that, that comes out of beauty. Household is more for like cleaning supplies and things to take care of our home. Pet care is for basically dog food and when we take our dogs in to get groomed. Vehicle maintenance, this is for any type of maintenance we might need for our two vehicles like new tires and oil change or to pay for our tabs and registration. Lawn care, this is for any season, but if we need a new shovel during the winter or like this last winter, we saved up for a snowblower. If we need to put seed down anywhere on our lawn, this is what this is for. Medical, our goal is to save up for our copay, but this can be used for any type of medical bills that we get. I said copays, I meant deductible. I think I said copays, now I can't remember. This is to save up for our deductible. <laughs> copays, this is for copays. Usually I just use it for the chiropractor because it's the only place we go where they ask you to pay like right away. Health is for anything else like vitamins, supplements. I actually drink athletic greens every morning. So this also goes to pay for that subscription. Tax prep, this is to pay our CPA to do our taxes and file our taxes for us. And then memberships, this is for our three memberships that we have, which is Sam's Club, Amazon Prime, and our Every Dollar app that we use for budgeting. So that is our high priority sinking funds. Next is low priority. These are things that are super important to us, but also things that we could skip out on if we needed to. So eating out, pretty self-explanatory. We don't normally keep a lot in here because we don't normally go to eat very often. We have four kids under eight. One of them is autistic and he is not a huge fan of going out to eat. He doesn't like how loud restaurants can be and how crowded restaurants can be. So we do take out once in a while, but we just usually eat at home. And if we want to take one of the other kids out, like on a one-on-one -on -one you know, mommy or daddy date, we do that. But normally we just eat at home and our kids don't really ask to, to go out to eat very often. They are so happy to go through the McDonald's drive-thru or order pizza or bring home Chinese or something. So we don't normally keep a lot in eating out. Drinks, this is just like the duplicate envelope for drinks. So Chris can grab out of here if he wants to. And then we have my spending cash and Chris's spending cash. And we usually stuff $200 each a month and we can spend this money on whatever we want. So self-care, this is mostly for the money I use to get my nails done, but Chris can use this too if he wants to. It's just kind of an overall self-care envelope. Date night, it's for Chris and I to go on dates. <laughs> family fun, this would be like if we wanted to go out to a movie or do something together as a family. Gifts, this is pretty self-explanatory as well, just gifts for baby showers, weddings, family members' birthdays, home. This is different from household because this is more for things that make our house a home. So any type of home decor, new blankets, plants, that kind of thing. 
organizing. I'm obsessed with organizing. So I like to stuff for that separately because this is a very low priority thing. I desire it, yes, but it's not a need. <laughs> so, well, I'd argue sometimes it is a need, but that's what that one is for. Freeze dryer, we are currently saving up for a freeze dryer, my sister and I. So we each need to save up about $1,400 for that. So I'm almost halfway there. Renovations, we are currently trying to finish the projects in our home within the next month and a half. So we are stuffing this each week so that we can finish up those home renovations. We build a hockey rink in the backyard every winter. So we save throughout the year for that maybe like 10 to $15 a month. I'm sorry, a week. <laughs> Travel, this is mostly to go visit my mom. So my mom lives a couple hours away, two and a half hours. And so we like to stop and get treats along the way or just make it fun. And so that's kind of what this money is for. We're currently not planning any big travel or vacations, but I think we wanna do that sometime in the next year or two. So we'll probably use the travel and vacation savings challenge for that. And then miscellaneous, this is again, just anything we forget to budget for. So that is our low priority sinking funds. All right, and then the last is the holiday sinking funds. So this one normally doesn't get stuffed with very big numbers because we cash stuff all year round for these categories. So like today is Valentine's Day. I still have $50 left in here. I think my goal was 200. So, you know, we spent $150 total. So Easter, I usually use this for like, Easter baskets, crafts, coloring Easter eggs. If the kids need a new outfit for church, you know, that Sunday we usually dress up a bit more on Easter. Our church is pretty laid back. So if this will just be used for anything that has to do with Easter. Mother's Day, pretty self-explanatory. Father's Day. Um, so Mother's Day I am stuffing quite a bit more in because there's me, but then there's also my mom and Chris's mom. And then for Father's Day, uh, we both lost our dads within the last couple of years. So this one's mostly just for Chris. And then if we feel like doing anything to like honor our own fathers on Father's Day. But if you ever notice, I'm stuffing a bit more in Mother's Day. It's because we like to spoil our moms on Mother's Day. Fourth of July is mainly for fireworks. I have a almost nine-year-old who is super obsessed with fireworks. And the other kids are starting to get into them as well. So it's crazy how expensive they are. So... We like to stuff quite a bit in 4th of July. Halloween is anything for Halloween, candy, costumes, crafts. Thanksgiving is mainly just for the food that I prepare for Thanksgiving. Black Friday, we like to save up 600 or no, $500 each year in Black Friday just in case there's any deals for things that we like actually need or Christmas gifts. And then Christmas is anything that has to do with Christmas. So Christmas gifts, um, potentially Christmas decor, but I do have a seasonal decor envelope I usually use. Um, but it's just kind of crazy like what pops up around Christmas time. So I don't really have a huge goal, but we usually save between 50 and $100 a week in this envelope. This one is important to me because it's so easy to go over budget during Christmas. And this last year, I think we had an extra 300 or 350 left over in this envelope. So that made me happy and kind of gave us a nice head start for this year. New Year's Eve, this is just in case we host something or I don't know, want to be super festive, but I normally don't save a ton in here, maybe like 200 bucks total. And if you think about it, like I cash stuff weekly. So 200 divided by 52 weeks, that's not much that we're cash stuffing each week. Seasons, this one is fully funded. So this is probably an envelope that will be used more in like the spring and summertime when there's more outdoor activities, but we don't do a whole lot in like the winter time. I guess we do in the fall, but winter is pretty quiet. We're pretty busy with hockey and tournaments and gymnastics. So we don't do a lot of like seasonal activities in the winter, but, and then seasonal decor is I think pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so next is the kids binder. And so this is actually a binder that I am gonna switch out. So like I mentioned before, I did receive a really exciting shipment in the mail and we are adding two new colors to the Poppy collection and I'm obsessed with them. So this is part of the reason I wanted to change my backdrop because my other one is gray and I wanted to make sure that these colors were gonna like really pop. I don't know what was on there, but I had it sitting up on our shelf. God knows it's probably dust because I haven't dusted these floating shelves in forever. But I'm so excited to add these new colors to the Poppy collection. They are absolutely beautiful and I just can't decide 
which one I want to add. I think I'm leaning towards this one. It's like a taupe, so it is different from the nude. It's a bit darker, so I think you can see like the difference there. That's easier to see the difference, but it's absolutely beautiful. I love, love, love it. So I think I might, mm. I don't know you guys, this is so hard. I mean, I'm sure I can find a use for all of these, right? Just like makeup binder categories. <laughs> so this is what the inside of that dark gray one looks like. And then this is what the inside of this one looks like. So it's super pretty. Hmm. I am going to be switching out my dashboard. So I'm going to switch out into this sinking funds dashboard. Maybe I can just decide. I think I maybe I might use the dark one. I can always switch it up. Why am I making such a big deal about this? I think I'm going to use the dark gray one for the kids. Take this off. Okay, so we're going to do these backwards. It's so hard because I really love this Sugar Plum Sophie, but they're not in stock right now. So I don't, it's hard because I don't, I feel bad. People want it and then I'm like, it's not in stock, which I'll just announce this now. I'm going to bring this on as a regular color. Okay, too many people love it. It's stupid for me to be like, no, it's got to stay limited edition. Like, no. We'll just bring it on as a regular color. I'm not, it's it's a beautiful mauve color and I'm not a huge pink girl, but I've been using it for a while and it doesn't scream pink to me, it screams mauve. So that's what we're gonna use. All right, so let's just, I'll explain these as I put them in. Kids miscellaneous, again, things we, you know, that pop up for the kids that we weren't prepared for, maybe didn't budget for. And then each of my kids has their own envelope. So this is Bristol's, she's our two-year-old. Rowan is our five-year-old. Eli just turned seven. And then Liam is just about to turn nine. So I'm thinking soon I'd love to start implementing like a once a week date night. So either Chris or I can take one of the kids out, like one kid per week, and take them out on like a little date and we can use the money in their envelopes. And the kids can pick like what they want to do and which parent they want to go with them. So gymnastics, Rowan's in gymnastics. So I'm saving up for her next session registration fee hockey because hockey is like feels like the most expensive sport in the world I don't know that it is necessarily birthday parties I like to go a little all out in the kids' birthday parties back to school we save all year round for that Chris just left I'm tr trying to remember where I was so back to school is for any expenses that have to do with like back to school stuff so we have two kids that go to a private school and so they have to wear uniforms there's like registration fees. We've got a kid in daycare. So back to school is for like clothes, school supplies, anything like that. And then kids clothing is like specifically for kids clothing. So I feel like I hole punched this wrong. I definitely did. But yeah, so that'll be our kids sinking funds binder. I think I might add a couple envelopes to here because I do want like one for the miscellaneous like school stuff that pops up. So yeah, I love this color. I think it's super pretty. I think it's just going to add even more class to the Sophie collection. I just love the Sophie collection. I want to see what these four binders look like all next to each other. So this will be the order. Yeah, I love that. Too light and too dark. And then I'll be able to incorporate that Sophie back in once they're back in stock. The other binder that I wanted to switch out is our 10K savings challenge. Cause again, this is a sugar plum Sophie. We're going to switch this binder out and I want to have a separate type of binder for my savings challenges. And we are adding a few more binders and I'm not sure exactly how I want to do this, but I think because these are the exact same layout as the Sophie's, they are super pretty. So these are new and I don't know if you can kind of see this fabric. It's really soft. It's just like beautiful so these look exactly like the sophies and they come in three colors so it's this gray the black 
and then like the taupey color. I haven't named them yet. They literally just came in yesterday. So I'm like, I gotta film this video. I'm so excited to add these to my setup, but I want these to be my savings challenge binders. And so something really cool about these is that they come with fly leaves. And so I actually ordered these ones with fly leaves. I wanted to see how they would turn out like with a fly leaf. So when I originally designed these, um, the OG Sophies with like this really beautiful texture on the outside, I designed these specifically to be like sinking funds binders, like specifically for sinking funds. And then I've had people ask me for like a sevens, which hold tight because I'm working on that. But it made me realize maybe some people might want to use these as a wallet. So I decided to order these ones with fly leaves. So they all have a matching fly leaf. So we'll take them out and set them all up. But I wanted to use these as my savings challenge binders because they're a little bit different. So I think I'll still call these the Sophie collection because, you know, as you can see, they have the exact same layout. And I don't want to make things confusing for people, like exact same layout. So these just might be like the original Sophie. And then these might just be, I don't know, or textured Sophie. I got to figure out like how to differentiate because the, the material is a lot different. So you can see the difference in the material. So, oh my gosh, but I am in love with how these turned out. So... Let me show you what they look like with the fly leaf. So these, I believe, are the exact same dimensions as the fly leaf for the wallet. So super nice. I do love this material. It feels like it'd be really easy to clean, like if this got dirty. Oh, that looks so good. I absolutely love how clean that looks. Okay. So there's this one, which I think this is the one I'm going to use for my savings challenges. I don't know if I'll use the fly leaf just because I'm going to set these aside for now. Just because I don't really need to, I guess. I'm not using this as a wallet. So this one says savings challenges. So this is my 10K savings challenge. And I was talking to Stephanie because this 10K, well, this monthly savings challenge in general sold out really fast during the restocks. And I was telling my sister about it and she's like, I think we should just make more soon. And I'm like, yeah, so these will be restocking soon. So it's, I'm just going to show you a few of these and then just put them all in for the sake of time. Cause I still have a hundred or 101 orders to pack when I get back to the shop. So this is the 10K. So each month you're saving between like seven and $900. Ooh, that looks so sharp. I love how that looks. Oh, this gets me so excited. Yay. All right. I don't know why I feel like these rings are the same size as the Lizzie's, but they feel bigger. Okay, so then the other savings challenge is my one, five, ten, and twenty dollar savings challenge. Which one do I want to do for this? Let's do black and just keep it the same. It's so weird having this layout because it's the Sophie layout, and then but it's a different material. So the other thing I want to change about my setup is these envelopes. So I had a company reach out and ask to send me some samples of zippered envelopes. And so, of course, I'm like, yes, please. So I'm going to test them out and see if the quality is good and use them for a little while. And if I like them enough, I'll add them to the shop. So they're, it's going to feel a little weird because they're clear. I don't know that I love the idea of clear, but I'm also like, oh, they're, they look really clean. So we're gonna give it a go. Let's get these put in here. Okay, so this is for the $1 savings challenge. Yeah, those fit nice. Okay. Okay, I really don't hate the way that looks. I don't know if, my, if these are gonna fit in there. It might not. 
because I made these based off the size of these. Well, fits in there just not as well. It looks really sharp though, I'm not gonna lie. These are not as like stiff. I'm, you guys can tell I'm so picky, but I'm also used to like these, which are thick and stiff and durable, but maybe, I don't know, we'll see. This is the $10 savings challenge and these are out of the starter savings challenge bundle. Okay, so this savings challenge I do each week and it's from the rollover money in my wallet, primarily just my spe personal spending cash. Normally like our family's sinking funds, so like groceries, et cetera. I like to keep that in the envelopes in case we actually need it. But my personal spending money, I do put in here. So yeah, oh, I do like the way that looks though. It's crazy because it looks like a Sophie, like a regular Sophie, an OG Sophie. And then you close it and it's like, oh, just kidding. It's not. These fit in there really nice too. I did grab an A5 because they wanted, they sent me a bunch of different types of envelopes, but I'm just not sure what I want to do here. I think we'll just do it. And then if I hate it, I can always switch it back. But either way, I'm switching out of this binder right here. So this is all of my cash that I keep separate. So I'm gonna answer the long, often asked question of, what do I do with the money when I do placeholders? And hold on, I'm gonna grab these envelopes quick. So I might actually really like this. We're gonna see here. Anyway, so I get asked all the time, what do I do with the money when I put a placeholder in an envelope? So depending on what envelope it is. So medical, for example, is a sinking fund that I don't plan on using anytime soon. I mean, if I never have to use it, that's even better. But because I'm not planning on spending that money soon, that money will go into our savings account. If it's a sinking fund that we may use at some point in the near future, like vehicle maintenance or something like that, I will keep that money in these envelopes, like these envelopes right here, because A, I don't wanna have to keep track of what money is what in our savings account because we just have one joint savings account that we would put this cash in and i just don't want to have to worry about that the other reason that i might not put that money in there is because we are trying to create new habits with money and if i see it in the savings account it makes me feel like oh we have all this money and then i start getting kind of careless with my spending so i would rather just keep it out of sight out of mind and not even think about it not gonna lie, I really like these A5 ones. I do feel like this is gonna make more sense because it gives me more room in the envelopes. And my bestie Erica does this with A5s where she puts her savings challenges in A5s. And I've always thought it was such a good idea. So, okay, this is, and even though this isn't a savings challenge, it's, you know. So vehicle maintenance, we can put in here first. But this way, oh, I do really like this. And then we just keep this binder in our safe and it's so easy to take money if we need to. Okay, so hockey, those two are empty. So like home renovations, this one I'm gonna keep out of the bank because Chris will pull this money as he is making his frequent trips to Home Depot as he finishes the home renovations. Okay, I need to make, I still haven't done this, I need to make one of these for Seasons because Seasons has a $500 placeholder in there. I'm gonna keep this out to remind myself or else I'll never remember to make that. All right, and then birthdays.
And then the rest of these don't have anything in them. So I'm just going to transfer them because these are often, so gifts is fully funded at 300. So we just, I would put that $300 in here. And this is just so that my envelopes don't get too thick because if I have, you know, like some of these, like the vehicle maintenance has $1,500 in it. That would be a lot of money or cash to keep just in that one envelope. So the placeholders keep the envelopes thinner. Oh, so we are going to need a couple more. And then, so let's say Black Friday, this is a bad example, but let's say it's Black Friday and I only spend $150. I will take this cash out of here and put it back in our Black Friday envelope in our sinking funds binder. So say I, it, this one has 500. Actually, let's use seasons as an example. Ooh, I like the way this feels. Okay, so this is seasons. So let's say... I spend $100 out of seasons. So I will take the placeholder out. All right, I spent $100. So now I have one, two, 253, 350, 400. So then I'll put this, can't even see what I'm doing. I will put this back in this envelope and it will no longer have a placeholder. Hopefully that makes sense. So that's kind of how this system works that I do. And it has really helped us to just curve our spending habits and for me it's more like out of sight out of mind because Chris and I are both natural spenders we love spending money not frivolously necessarily but I love buying gifts for people to so be like oh Steph would love this and I would just buy it so this has really helped us to just stay on budget and so me being like okay well I have 40 bucks in our gifts envelope so I can totally get this for her or oh I only have you know, $60 in the envelope and my mother-in-law's birthday is, you know, next month. So I shouldn't spend that because I'm going to need that money for my mother-in-law's birthday present versus when you just have it all in one place, like in an account, it's hard to know what is designated for what. So I did, I do think I have, yes. So I pulled this off the shelf because it, it's bent on one of the corners Yes, it got bent on one of the corners, and so I'm not gonna sell this one anyway. So I'm like, well, we'll just use this in this binder just to make it pretty. There. I wanna see how it holds up too with these zipper envelopes. Who knows? But yeah, it just makes it a little more pretty. And then now as these envelopes get more full, It won't make my binder so big but this binder has really big rings so yeah that like so I'd say about 10 of these would fit in here and I could probably also space these out just a little bit so that's another trick with your zipper envelopes, if you space them out more like that, yes, they're not closed all the way, but your money is not gonna fall out of there. It helps it not to be quite so thick. So I'm gonna see if I like this. I've still got all these like little things coming out, but I'm gonna see how I like this. Um, I don't go in here often, so it might be a while before I decide, but I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. I like the concept of it, but we'll just see I'm also a practical gal, so we'll see how practical this is too. Okay, so the last thing I want to test out is I want to see if I can fit the savings challenge in a binder. Um, ultimately, I don't think it matters having this money separate because <sighs> technically it's all going in the same place, right? It's one month ahead. Let's try it because I want to use my new binders. <laughs> Okay, so this is our other savings challenge binder. Let's give it a go. All right, I feel like this video is getting super long, so I'm going to really quick put these in the binder, and I will be right back. All right, so I got my envelopes in here. So 1040 is how much we've saved up for rent or mortgage. I'm just going to see if it's possible to, to do this. I don't know if it is or not, but... Oh, 
And I think eventually I'd like to have like a seven and a five in this style as well. So you have to tell me what you guys think in the comments if you think I should do that. Right now they're just a six and I know that you guys are probably wondering when these are going to launch. And um, I have about a hundred orders left to pack from the restock on Friday. So today's Wednesday. And so I've got about a hundred orders left to pack. I think we had 330 roughly that came in during the launch and then um i mean since since then i'm not really sure so we had like 200 and something come in on friday and then the total was 330 330 something by monday morning i don't know i put it in my vlog so you can watch my vlog for like more exact numbers but so now i have 100 in my queue which i mean i guess could have come in yesterday and today too i didn't i was just trying to stay focused on what i was doing so what i'm doing right now is i'm just like adjusting these so that they fit a little bit more like a puzzle and they fit in here so if you're somebody that uses these this is um a trick i learned or taught myself i don't know sometimes because when i get these from my manufacturer so the other the old ones that i use like the frosted ones when I get these in the mail from them, oh, this fits nice. I mean, it's fine. And you can just kind of go through here. So yeah, I don't know. I might leave it in here for a little while and then decide if I want to switch it into like the bigger, the bigger ones. But all right, so I will show you the lineup one more time now that we have everything all set up. So these are the new sophie collection i mean they're a different material but they are still sophies so we'll just have to maybe think of like a sub name for them so people aren't confused by the the difference in texture i mean they'll be two completely separate listings but um maybe this will just be like the a6 smooth sophie and then this can just be like the a6 sophie because this is like the og this material so these are new and these are new as well look at that color palette that is like beautiful I love that so pretty but if you guys have ideas drop them in the comments how should I differentiate between the classic material and this new like smooth material to like see the material there you can see it pretty good there but yeah they are still su super luxurious feeling so yeah, drop in the comments if you have any good ideas on how we should differentiate between the two of these. But you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I know this video was long, but I feel like my system was due for like some changes and just updates and just to kind of freshen things up a bit. I think that always feels so good, but I hope my video blessed you in some way and I cannot wait to see you in my next one.